It's the 2K Sports pregame show. NBA regular season opener for a couple of teams. Thank you all for tuning in. So happy you're here. I just, I mean, I'm ecstatic that you're here. And I miss I'm, you I'm, too, Ernie. And I'm really happy that Kenny and Shaq are here. I too. miss you too, Ernie. Thank yeah, you. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA, we are nearly ready for the chip off. Well, guys, Stan Van Gundy was the head coach in Miami, Orlando, and now Detroit. Now he's promised his wife that this is the last stop. He said, I wanted one more shot at it. I've got a great owner, and I should be able to get it turned around in the time that he's given me. If I don't, I don't. But this will be the last one. Kevin? And, D.A., it's obvious that Stan has a real love for the game. Here's hoping he turns that storied franchise around. Well, Smitty, we have a fantastic matchup between two of the top centers in the league right in front of us here. It's a throwback to an era of an earlier time when big men were dominant in this league. Kevin, I remember. 40 seconds left in the first quarter. Carter Williams kicks to Kaminsky. D.J. dishes to Zeller. Shoots over Marjanovic, and there's Zeller, and that's good on the assist by DJ. And this game is tied up now. For Detroit, they've gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. And the basket by Harris. Not a high percentage long range shooter, but Tobias Harris knocked that one down. Here's Carter Williams, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. He dishes it to Zeller. Now the pass to Kid Gilchrist. Down to five on the shot clock, and it's going to be a three-second call. Five seconds left in the first quarter. Takes a three. No good on the buzzer beater. And a good game so far as we conclude the first quarter. Pistons lead by three. Live from Luke. And Dwight Howard, a lightning rod figure around the basketball. This is my passion, you know, on the court. It's my sanctuary. You know, I want to have fun. Uh, the reason I play is to win championships. I take this game very serious. It's an interesting concept that Dwight has to take something very seriously in order to have fun. He does say he has a burning passion to win a championship. He's been in the finals, and uh, this is a guy that's got still a lot to shoot for, he feels, in his career. That's a great point, Kevin. And the challenge for Dwight is how to balance how serious he is and how passionate he is with, with having that fun on the court uh, that he's at. Second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? I mean, a solid first quarter, especially looking at that plus turnover ratio. Take care of the basketball, being disruptive on D. That combination has them out in front. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, as the second quarter gets going. And Detroit looking at who they've got. They've got Marjanovic. Kennard is out there with Tobias Harris. And it's Smith. And it's Galloway in at the two-guard spot. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hey, guys, something special is brewing in Charlotte. Point guard Kemba Walker said, it's a great start. We know how to play with each other. And we love playing with each other. The best thing is how hard we all work. We're going to grow. Kevin? And that kind of optimism is terrific, David. Thank you. Walker and the Charlotte Crews seem to be a perfect match. DJ passes to Zeller. Here's Kaminsky. Charlotte gets it back. Feeds to Carter Williams. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second point. And a look now at the four areas where shots can come from. The paint, mid-range, and shots from deep all broken down for Charlotte. 
and they've really shied away from the mid-range. That's a new school style, and looking for shots beyond the arc and at the rim, those tend to be far more efficient. Smith pitched to Harris. Here's Kennard. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Hornets trail by eight. And the Pistons last season getting their scoring from a lot of different sources. High score last season was Harris at 16 points. They spread the ball around and everybody chips in. And he was camped in the lane there, and he gets the three-second call. John Moore, he's checked in for Harris. Pistons leading by eight. And the foul called on DJ. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, he has to be careful now. He doesn't want to pick up that third foul this early. To the wing right side. And Moore wide open. He shoots it. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Smith's got his third assist on the night. Hunter Williams dishes to Kaminsky. Shot to stop the run. Second chance shot. And Zeller with the lay-in. Zeller's got six points. Defensively, you cause the miss, but then you have to corral it. You know, there is nothing more frustrating than that. Giving up points on a possession, you won. And the foul is called. He intentionally grabbed him there for some reason. I don't know. Kevin, Kevin, all I can think of is that he's trying to slow the game down a little bit. Right. That, that's a stretch, though. Definitely a strange move on his part. And the Pistons making a change here. Drummond's checked in again, and that's two points on the way. Collins got the lead up to 11 now for the Pistons. The league leader in offensive rebounds on multiple occasions. Drummond doing it again. And the Hornets call time here. And after waiting, Steve, all summer, the fans here certainly seem to be exciting for opening night. Yeah, if you're a hoop junkie, you want the season to be all year long. But obviously in the summer, you get time off. And that opening night, you're looking forward. You're looking forward to see the new players, the new team. And you're in day one, everybody feels they can win a championship. It's just late on in the year, reality starts to set in. Yeah, well said. Five on the clock. DJ passes to Kaminsky. Now Detroit moving it up. Lays it in off the breakaway. He has five. And that replay presented by Under Armour showing us the fantastic steal that led to that fast break finish. Another unleash chaos moment. The feed now to Kid Gilchrist. The baseline J. Here's Zeller. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Just a grinder. Always doing the dirty work on the offensive class. And that's one of the things he brings to the table. Back to Galloway. It's rebounded by Kid Gilchrist. Kid Gilchrist has got his fourth rebound in this one. Tries it from nine. DJ kicks to Kid Gilchrist. Zeller dishes to DJ. Right side, Kid Gilchrist. No problems knocking that one down. Kid Gilchrist has got it back down to a single digit deficit for the Hornets. Time call here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And when you look at Kid Gilchrist, and he is certainly known for his. And so is Detroit in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. And they... Thank you, Kevin. Andre, big first half. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break. With... The second half just about to get going here. We've seen John...